Okay, come on, we, we're doing the color. Yes, girl. Okay, so when you're picking, did you want, did you say, I, I want color, I want, did you? I did, well, so I'm a big vintage person, oh. and this is vintage Roberto Cavalli, and I it was actually something that I sent as a, a dream look, and then it showed up in my fitting, and I was like, are you joking? <laughs> so, yes, I'm proud to be wearing some vintage Cavalli. Manifestation Cavalli. works. And then look, I'm carrying a little tiger purse. We love. We Me too, love. isn't that cool? Is really you look very, like you look whimsical and fresh and oh, good. like. That's what we love because I'm, I'm, you know, I get these things make me nervous. Are you a little bit of a nervous though, wreck? Okay. Yeah, I get, I get nervous, but at the same time, I want to be able to just enjoy things. Like still after all this time, yes. all the nominations, I don't all think the time it gets you've easy. been. Yes, no. because you still like it's not like you suddenly feel like oh, it's a breeze. It's like every time is a surprise, and every time it's exciting. And I think nerves are important. They mean you cat. Well, you've got most of your cast nominated yeah. for this as well. Yeah, this is true. And I think, you know, and the show, which yes. makes me so proud because I, I genuinely think every single department and every single cast member that I had on this job are truly brilliant, yeah. but also some of the most nurturing humans mm -hmm. I've ever gotten to work with. And I think... Yeah, I think I just, I'm just so proud of all of us. And both you and Hannah are nominated tonight, not for Ted Lasso. No. I <laughs> you know. know. You're both there. But then this week, you throw us all, they, or last week, they throw us all into a tizzy with a season four could be in the works for Ted Lasso. Why do y'all do this to us? Well, I, 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 I wasn't a part of making that decision. I was, and I'm learning at the same time as everybody. Okay. So, and and I think it's something that sounds really exciting. Yeah. But I also don't know much about it yet. <laughs> well, would you be down? I mean, you could like, would you be down to say, let's go, let's go, let's play some more, let's do? I mean, I think it would be really interesting to to catch up with the characters and find out where their journey is going to go next. And I think it's important that if we do do that, that the journeys feel like they are a continued life, you know? And, and especially for my character, I think she's a woman that has been really interesting for, for women and has been really interesting for me as a woman. And so I'd want to see sort of the next chapter of her of her life and see a progression that would be another kind of conversation that people can have because she's having it. Now, we know that Brett Goldstein is going to be on Shrinking this season, but they've been kind of coy. My guess is that Roy Kent is actually going to show up on Shrinking, and it may be a crossover. Whoa. I think that's what's going to happen. Look I think he's going to go to the therapist over there, and he's going to show up. I mean, if not, that's a genius idea. <laughs> so you Don't you, steal you, it. You should pitch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't steal it. I love, That's just, I'm like, that's the way to kind of keep us in the mix and keep us alive. But what I also think that, that I like seeing, and, and Hannah has always said this about you, like, you guys just need to understand the talent that Juno Temple is. I love seeing you get your flowers outside of that realm. And, like, we're learning all these layers to your art. Yeah, I, I mean, I really love what I do. Yeah. I don't know if I'm always or ever any good at it. I think I, 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 but I just, I think it's a real privilege to get to do what we do. And I think inhabiting another life is something that is, yeah, it's a real honor. And I always think about it like, you know, imagine if somebody was making a film about my mother. I would want somebody to take that seriously and do that with respect and honesty and love. And so I think that's, yeah, it's kind of, I, I feel really, I'm really proud to be here. Is it date night tonight, by the it way? It is my fiance over there. With, with is the that fiance? Hey, fiance! Michael. Come here, fiance! <laughs> His name is Michael. Yes, we like a date night. I said, is this date night? She it said, is. my fiance's over there with his handsome self. <laughs> <laughs> How proud are you of this one? Well, I couldn't be more proud, yeah, yeah. especially with this show. I enjoy watching it and uh, just seeing Juno doing. Yeah, it's such an amazing job. Yeah, I'm very proud that it's been appreciated with the nomination. So, yeah, it's really great. I love that. It's a different kind of date night, but it's a good one. Oh, look at her grin. I like that so much. So cool. Y'all have an amazing night tonight, okay? Thank you.